My name is Els Hoft. I am in Swaziland here, in the southern tip of Africa. I've lived here since 1985. Um, I have lived in other parts of Africa where batik is a very um, renowned craft and I didn't find it in Swaziland. And I used to make batiks a lot myself and I decided to create jobs for the women of Africa which I feel are the backbone of society in this part of the world. And I named the business Beoba because of the roots where I taught myself to do the butter work were in West Africa where there are many baobab trees available uh, around which is not in this part of the world. And the tree uh, represents, symbolizes, um, the baobab tree symbolizes um, a lot of things. It's a tree that is carrying a lot of creatures and is the biggest one on the continent and I felt that was a strong brand for the craft that I'm so proudly making with all these amazing women. This, I'm standing here at the washing line and all these bright fabrics are here. This is the harvesting time of the day. This is the best part of the day. Where all the stuff that we've been working on for days in, days out, are finally hanging there to show how beautiful they have come out. And each piece is unique made by one woman, dyed by another, and sewn by another team of amazing women. And here we are making beautiful scarves and wall hanging cushion covers. This is what I love. And having the women around me who are making an income for their families is something that I get even emotional about. So, thank you so much, Els. Tell us, um, you're very familiar with ABW Connected and, um, and the Trade Expo that's coming in to Ethiopia in 2014. Tell us what that means to you as a, as a business, as, an, as a woman entrepreneur in Africa. What does that uh, summit mean to you? Well, this kind of feels like it's the, the most desirable thing you can attend because after working for many, many years with women who are from rural background, who haven't had much chance of education. And now coming to a conference where you can see there's lots of other women around Africa who've been doing the same. And all our hard work and our, our passions and our interests of sharing are all going to be there and exchanging ideas. That's just how we need to change the world. We need to do something about the perceptions about making things by machines and, and making them as cheap materials. Just put love and labor in from our own hands and make valuable, beautiful products that are, can be admired around the world, not just only in Africa. And on top of that, my passion is being working with the women of Africa. I was able to work in West Africa in mother and child care and I could see how children were raised by and fed on, on, on nutrition that was by their mother's labor, not by their, their fathers who were not kind of partaking in, in making these children become healthy uh, infants. It was the mother's hard work and that has really made me uh, passionate about working with women. I'm sorry there's a lot of men with uh, lots of potential too, but I think the women deserve to have their right just Place. Um, and and how many women do you work with? At the moment, we are around uh, thirty in numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we we are working from our own under our own roof, so the the capacity of employing people is a little bit limited of the workspace. But mm -hmm. we'll have ways and means of trying to see how we can expand and get other uh, women maybe f working from their homes and partake mm -hmm. in what we are making. And would you, how exciting is it to you to be able to meet buyers from around the world uh, on, in, on Africa soil? Well, that's just um, kind of indescribable because we are a unique continent. Africa, although I'm not coming from them, obviously, I've lived here for um, the better part of my life and I can only say Africa has got so much to offer that 
I feel other countries won't help. And it's been a disadvantage for many years, but now Africa is becoming stronger. And this is what is just the best thing that can happen for all the women of Africa. Thank you so much, Els, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in Ethiopia in 2014. Yes, this is going to be an amazing uh, journey, I can tell you that. Thank you.